looking at binary search trees. We've already looked at binary trees, so all we really need to do is focus on the word search. So, what is a binary search tree? So it's a tree, a binary tree, which basically means that every node has two child nodes, a left and a right. Except now, with this binary search tree, every left node has to be less than the current node's data, and every node on the right has to be greater than the current node's data. Uh, also, the left and right subtrees, so there could be two trees down here, each of these trees themselves has to also be a binary search tree. So there's an ordering that has to happen. And it can be a little tricky at first to understand this ordering, so we're going to go to an example of which binary trees are binary search trees and which one is not a binary search tree. So everything on the screen here, I'm going to circle the root nodes. There's actually five trees on the screen right here, and I've circled the root node of each tree. So let's start with the easiest one. Let's start with this 42. So there are no children. So what that means is, and it feels a little weird, but there's nothing to the left and the right, so it's vacuously true that it's a binary search tree because every node to the left, there are no nodes, every node to the left is less than 42, and every node to the right is greater than 42. There are no other nodes, so this is a totally legal binary search tree. So let's look at the next easiest example. Except this one's tricky because they're all negatives. So negatives, at least to me, make my head hurt. So we're going to start with negative 5. We're going to look to the left. To the left should be less than negative 5. However, negative 1 is greater than negative 5. So negative 1 means this tree's out of order. So this is not a binary search tree. We could keep looking, but as if you find one or more nodes that are out of order, it's not a binary search tree. So you can stop as soon as you find one node that's out of order. All right, let's move on to the next. I'm going to go with, let's do this decimal tree right here. This is either doubles or floats. And we're going to start by looking at the top here, 7.2. If I look to the left, is every node to the left less than 7.2? Yes, it is. So this 1.9 is just fine. All right, let's now look to the right. So 7.2 is the root node. Is everything to the right, all these three nodes, they're all greater than 7.2. So this, so far, is a valid tree. But we're not done yet. All we've done is check that 7.2 is valid with this. But what we haven't done is made sure that this right here that I circled is also a binary search tree. So let's examine that a little bit more closely. So we're going to start with 9.6. To the left of 9.6 is 8.1, and 8.1 is less than 9.6, so that's just fine. And now we're going to look at this, 9.6 and 21.3. 21.3 is to the right of 9.6, so this is a legal binary search tree. So every node checks out. Every subtree is itself a binary search tree. All right, let's do the alphabetical tree here. You can get a kind of a ballpark for if it, it looks pretty ordered already because you see smaller stuff here, bigger stuff here. So we'll start again at the top with an M. Everything to the left is greater than, or sorry, is less than M. It's closer to A, the beginning of the alphabet. And everything to the right down here is greater than M, although I'm a little worried about K. J, K, L, M. Uh-oh. So this K just messed everything up right here. So K is not a less than M. It almost is, but almost doesn't count. All right, so that's not a binary tree. Uh, we could keep checking the subtrees. So if we look at this subtree right here, it looks like it is a tree because K is less than Q. Let's look at this subtree right here. So B 
is less than g, b is less than g, so that's okay. e, now it's a little bit weird, but e is to the left of g, so e is less than g, e, f, g, yeah, so e is less than g, so that's okay. And now we look all the way into the smallest subtree, b is the root, and e is to the right of b, and e is greater than b, so just this right here, this subtree is a binary search tree, but again, the overall tree is not because that k is in the wrong spot. Where should k appear? Uh, it looks like it can probably go right there. I think k, if k was right there, it would be okay. But it's not right there, so we're not okay. We will talk later about how to actually add to binary search trees. It's a little bit tricky because uh, you have to put something in the right spot, and sometimes that requires rearranging, and we'll cover that later. All right, last up, we got an 8. Is everything to the left of 8 less than 8? Looks like it. The biggest is 7. That's less than 8. Is everything to the right of 8 greater than 8? It looks like it is, so, so far, so good. So now we're going to zoom in. Here is the subtree. Is this a binary tree? So we're going to look at the 5. Uh, the 5, what's to the left of 5 is a 2 and a 4. So far, so good. What's to the right of 5 is a 7. Perfect. So the 5 is just fine. And we need to look at this. 2 and a 4. 4 is greater than 2. It's to the right. So that's just fine. That tree is fine. Uh, we don't really need to check the leaf nodes because, as I described earlier on our first example, they're automatically a binary search tree because there's nothing below them to be out of order. So all the leaves, these are called leaves, all the leaves themselves are binary search trees. Even though they don't have children, it's fine. All right, so here we go. Looking at this, 11 as a root node, 10 is smaller. So this is fine over here. So we're going to look at the tree to the right of 11. Everything here, 18, 20, 18, is in order. So 11 is fine. So we're almost there. Now we're looking at this tree right here. Everything here is to the right of 18. We have a slight problem, as you're probably seeing. The 20 is fine, but we have a repeated value. And so what do we do when we have a repeated value? We're going to go back to our definition. And if you look, we've only allowed less than and greater than. There is no room for equality here. You could redefine it and decide which side to put equals on. Uh, our binary tree won't have duplicates because, just the way we've defined it, there's no equal to here. So it's, if it's less than, it's on the left. If it's greater than, it's on the right. If it's equal to, well, there you can only have the value in that node itself. So if you're equal, uh, you won't be in a subtree, and therefore you can't have an equal value appearing later on in your subtree. So this uh, repeated value is the reason that this last uh, one is not a tree. It almost makes it, but again, it only takes one node either out of order or, uh, or that shouldn't be there, which in this case is the 18, to not make it a binary search tree.